Welcome back. The world of college basketball has lost a pioneer, and he was also a groundbreaking figure here in the city of Indianapolis. Jerry Harkness, Harkness is best known for the history he made at Loyola as a Loyola Rambler. Harkness hit for Loyola of Chicago when they won the men's national championship back in 1963. He hit the shot that sent the championship game into overtime, and Loyola would go on to beat Cincinnati 62-58. Three years ago, Ago, when Loyola went back to the Final Four, WRTV's Derek Thomas spoke to Jerry Harkness about that game, but he also talked about a more important aspect of his Rambler team that season. This is a championship call against the University of Cincinnati in vivid black and white. We won! We won! We won the ball game! We mentioned black and white because this Loyola team had four black starters when there was an unwritten rule that no more than three blacks could play together at once. Nevertheless, the Ramblers play Mississippi State in the regional finals, a team that defied a government order that banned them from playing an integrated team. That game had a special name, Game of Change. That was the Game of Change. And that, that game, that was more than just a game. That was history being made right there. The fact that uh, the governor of Mississippi wouldn't allow Mississippi State to come and play against a team that had four black starters. You realize this was pretty important in the history of uh, civil rights in the United States. Now, Jerry was at the epicenter. Jerry would come to Indianapolis a few years later, playing with the Pacers during their first two seasons in the ABA. He would make history once again in November 1967, when he hit an 88-foot shot at the buzzer to lead the Pacers past Dallas. It's still the longest game-winning shot ever made in a pro basketball game in the United States. Harkness would go on to work for the United Way of Central Indiana. He helped start the Indiana Black Expo and 100 Black Men of Indianapolis. And he was also the first black sportscaster on Indianapolis television. Jerry's son announced his father's death this morning in a Facebook post. Jerry Harkness was 81 years old.